What's up everyone? I have a 5 Warthog victory for it today. This recording is once again pretty old, I believe it's from the beginning of September. So I'm trying to post it right now just to clear my backlog before the Unicorn pack release. In any case though, I really hope you enjoyed this run, I really had fun grinding for this one. I believe I've gotten 5 of a kind Warthog before, but it's always nice to get it again. I think it was also after a update, so the player pool is pretty fresh and uh, the meta is somehow changed and I wanted to see if the Warthog is still pretty viable. And uh, spoilers it is, everything that reduces or not reduces increases the stats based on its own attack is going to be pretty decent. But yeah, the Warthog is going to come pretty late, turn 9 at the earliest, so let's focus on getting to there first. And you can see here I get some pretty decent level ups, especially the Weasel, which I think is what I'm going to take. Kind of a risk here hitting the 50-50 on the buff to go on the Weasel, so I'm very happy about that. We're also going to take the Meerkat, which I guess is kind of thematic if you've watched the Lion King, you have both the Timon and Pumbaa on the team. I don't think Meerkat is going to stick around, but at least for now it's going to be pretty good tempo. And especially with the Cold Snail giving lots of attack, I think it's pretty synergistic with the Meerkat giving lots of HP, or I guess it would be the other way around. Whatever the case though, we also find an African Penguin. And I think like uh, for a good Warthog build you would want to build up a good Hercules Beetle and an African Penguin. Because both of them scale up attack and if you scale up the attack of the Warthog, the Warthog is going to do all of the rest of the scaling by itself. So yeah, we want to focus on the attack mostly. Thankfully we get a pretty nice draw here. I don't think we want to lose a whole lot considering how we'll be pivoting lots during the mid to end game. But uh, we'll be making a small pivot right now, maybe, yeah, away from the Meerkat surprisingly enough. I think Kurt me would have sold the Cone Snail deck instead, but having the extra HP in conjunction with the African Penguin's attack could prove to be pretty useful. So yeah, we are going to scale up a little bit, hopefully we get to win this round. We get to face Hawker P here, who is going for some gold build, maybe he's trying to pivot into some wild endgame strategy as well. But for now we beat him thankfully, he's probably going to kick our ass in the late game, so it, it's nice to claim an early victory on him. And uh, yeah, we're just going to try to get some level ups, we're pretty close to a level 3 African Penguin, so we might see a tier 5 unit next turn. For now we're getting to copy the doggy. We also get to copy two lizard tails, which is pretty funny. Three token units get copied in a single turn, you don't see that every day. But uh, yeah, we find a manatee plus a banana in the shop, so I immediately go for the banana tea strategy into a monkey. I think monkey works pretty well with uh, five warthogs because all that you need to scale mostly is the first one and then the other uh, Warthogs are going to do the rest of the scaling for you, so I think this strategy is going to be pretty decent. I also try to maybe grid a little bit with the Silver Fox, but I don't think I have the space on the board right now to fit it in. Like I like all of the units that I currently have on the team, maybe Falcon can go in the future, but for now... Hopefully we win actually, it's going to be pretty close, yeah we win by 1 HP there. The run is pretty old as I just said so uh, my memory on this run is not the best. For some reason I'm deciding to keep investing in the Falcon which I guess maybe I was going 5 of a kind Falcon at the beginning, I believe in September I did not have 5 of a kind Falcon yet so I guess that makes a little bit of sense. But uh, yeah, you can see what I mean by the player pool being cleared out. A lot of these same people are playing over and over again and uh, this time we're actually going to lose to this person who we won by 1 HP against last time. So yeah, our scaling not the best, but I think we have pretty good prospects as we find the first uh, Warthog of the run. What are we going to sell for it though? I, I like pretty much everything. 
sadly I think the weasel has to go maybe it's a little bit of bias because I've been scaling up and investing in the falcon all this time but I think it was pretty close there to, to decide what I wanted to have gone whatever the case though we have the warthog now we have the monkey as well still no level 3 penguin which is going to be proved to uh, which is going to prove to be my english <laughs> escaped me for a second there is going to prove to be a little bit of a problem we lack the scaling necessary but we do find another level up i was hoping for a bird of paradise obviously but we didn't get anything useful which is kind of sad at least we find the chocolate, so if we manage to look into a bird of paradise early next turn, I think we'll be very happy. For now we just continue scaling up the warthog. Not the biggest team that you've ever seen, but I think the warthog can do some pretty nice work. Unfortunately here we get hard counter though with the crane and the first in position unit being just slightly bigger than our warthog. It doesn't matter though, we keep scaling, we had the hearts to spare so it's no big deal, we still have 3 left so we are at some freedom to actually lose if we want to, as we find yet another warthog which we will bring in, yep we'll even get another trigger of the bob ability, we also get it to level 2 pretty early, I think we'll do that first thing next turn, but for now we're just going to roll down, hopefully find some pretty decent perks, Peter Brett in particular. I don't think Fig or Durian was in the game by the time I was recording this video, so basically all the all good things that you have is just the uh, Peter Brett. But yeah, I think... We'll get the Bird of Paradise up to level 2. Actually, we get another one in the shop, which I think level 3 is a little bit of overkill. We're going to skip past it. The good thing about tier 6, 5 of a kind is that you have the potential of actually leveling into one. And uh, hopefully, if we manage to level up the second in position, Warthog, we actually get to find yet another one from the level up and we can start completing the 5 of a kind. But you can see what I was talking about with having the biggest one be at the front and the rest of the units can be pretty small. Because yeah, as you can see here, the monkey getting to 20 plus attack and carrying us at the end of the battle just because the front warthog is pretty big and level 2 as well. So yeah, I think we have pretty decent chances even though our team looks kind of small. And uh, maybe I could have buy, bought sold the uh, cockatoo there as well because this is the old version of cockatoo that uh, buffs 3 units I believe as opposed to the one. It's also tier 5 I believe. But um, yeah I d decided not to do that for whatever reason. I also sell the monkey here just to guarantee that the buffs from the bird of paradise go onto the warthogs. I think we'll be okay on this turn. I think we have the stats necessary even though their team is kind of cheesy. Uh, actually barely a draw there but that was kind of satisfying. Call 3 Warthogs fainting at once and giving all their stats to the Bird of Paradise which is super cool to see. We are going to put some equipment on the team. I don't really want to include the fourth Warthog right now because I want to have a space open for the what's it called for the oyster and that way we can potentially buy sell oysters get some gold get some more bird of paradise triggers sooner or later we will have to include it but for now i think we are at liberty to just scale up freely and um yeah hopefully we find more oysters for now we're just doing some pretty good scaling though so i can't really complain the front line is almost at 50 attacks so it can take out 50 50 almost and uh, as i said attack scaling is more important than hp so we care mostly about the attack and the warthogs can scale up the hp for us maybe this is the turn where we transition into the fourth warthog just to free up the space in the shop to find the fifth we get another level 2 into another oyster, so we we'll love to see that. We'll be getting double triggers on this time from the Bird of Paradise. Eggplant still in the pack, but I think Peter Brett is better for this scenario. 
at least for the front three ones. Let's see how we do here. Pretty unfortunate that the biggest one faints only after a single hit, but we do have the stats to just clear the rest of the enemy team there. And we are getting pretty close to winning. Two more wins to go, two hearts left on our side as well, so we are afforded one more failure if we had to lose a round. But I don't think we will, I think we'll be just fine. Yep. You can see, I, I believe actually this is the same team from the last game as well, so yeah, we get to beat them handily, we also have a 50-50 left over. So the last challenge is going to be just to find the final Warthog and then transition into 5 of a kind. And uh, we actually find some pretty interesting stuff in the shop, we find an Oyster, a Bird of Paradise and yet another one. Unfortunately, I don't really need them. Thankfully we do find yet another Warthog as well, I would like a level 2 if at all possible, but it seems like we'll just barely be getting it with the last of our gold. So this is going to be the final team, I really hope you enjoyed this run and if you did, I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff and I'll talk to you next time, take care.